We're close. Yeah, <laughs> okay, for sure. I mean, this weekend, temperature-wise, it's going to feel like summer, and you're probably going to want to head to the beach now. Ocean temps are still in the upper 50s, near 60 degrees. That is chilly, but not chilly. That's how you describe it Saturday and Sunday. But you can see, soon after that, it is back to May. In fact, a little bit below average. So we've got a lot going on the next couple days. Uh, let's stay on Long Island looking into Nassau County. You have beautiful, clear skies out there right now. A very pleasant start to the day. 57 degrees. The dew point's still really low, so that humidity is comfortable. We'll get that sunshine in early. A few more clouds by lunchtime, but we do stay dry today. 74 for the high this afternoon. 72 in Poughkeepsie. We'll hit the 70s from the east port and Islip. And get down the shore, that westerly flow, keeping the cooler influence of the ocean out of the picture, at least today. Those northwest winds about 5 to 10. And then by tonight, we do have not only the clouds, but the showers moving in. You can see area-wide temperatures dipping into the 50s. So let's time it out for you, because it is going to have an impact tomorrow morning. So if you have evening plans, I think mainly just mostly cloudy. It is after midnight that we start to see some of those showers move in. Wouldn't be surprised to get a rumble of thunder here tomorrow morning. But I stopped the clock at about 5 a.m. So if your commute starts by, uh, by now, you could be looking at some areas of moderate to heavy rainfall and still lingering for Long Island and Connecticut through about 7 a.m. After that, 9, 10 in the morning, we're looking at drier conditions and the clouds will eventually follow by later in the day. And then it's all about that warm-up. The humidity comes back with that southerly flow picking up ahead of this cold front. So by Saturday into Sunday, yes, we get the heat and humidity for so many of us, but also the possibility of some stormier weather come Sunday. So think about your outdoor plans on Sunday. If it does include beach or maybe the pool's open already, you may have to have an indoor uh, plan B. And then you can see early next week behind that cold front, enough of that cooler dry area ups our temperatures down quite a bit, upper 60s Tuesday and Wednesday, and then back up to the mid-70s by the end of the week. All right, 418, and that's looking at your 10-day forecast at Good morning, Maria. Good morning to everyone out of home watching. If you are going to be heading out this early morning hour for a drive, there's a few things you want to keep in mind. First up, LIE eastbound is closed. Exit 41 out to exit 51, or 48 out to 51. Northern State Parkway would be your best alternate. Southern State Parkway eastbound also closed in the same area. Exit 39 to exit 41A. In this case, Sunrise Highway would be the way you want to go. Heading into New Jersey now on the turnpike, northbound inner roadway. All lanes are closed. Exit 8 out to exit 14. Then on the southbound outer roadway, all lanes are closed. Same exits, exit 14 down to exit 8. Heading inbound or outbound in the upper deck of the George Washington Bridge. Construction has cleared out. Steer clear of the outbound lower level, though. We still have construction there. Closing down all lanes until 5 a.m. That's all for now. Sending it back to you, Michael. All right, well, we do have the news about the Because the MTA just announced a new 